some good, have some fun, and shoot some film. P.S. Nikon EMs are more fun. So that package that I just unboxed was a trade that I did with Dave the Old Camera Guy. Uh, a little ways ago, I posted a story on Instagram asking if anybody had a Nikon EM that they'd be willing to trade or sell. Dave reached out and said, hey, what do you got? And this will actually be the fourth EM I've had in maybe the last six or seven years. I figured, you know, there's something about it that just keeps me coming back. It's probably worth making a video on, so let's go check it out. Before we jump in, I just want to mention uh, that I've received a couple messages and a couple comments asking why I don't do camera reviews anymore. Uh, a year or two ago, I, I used to do a whole bunch on film cameras and, um, you know, just people were curious why I don't do as many. And last weekend, I watched a video posted by Matt Day and he just totally perfectly summed up how I feel about this. To be completely honest, I don't want to make film camera reviews anymore. Unless it's a camera that I personally own and shoot with and I, I really enjoy it, not one that I like just picked up and have only had for a month. I don't want to make a film camera review video because in all honesty, they are just not fun or interesting or fulfilling in any way. It's clearly what people are looking for on YouTube, but it is just not fulfilling or inspiring or interesting to me at all, both to shoot those videos as well as just watching them in general. So with that said, we're just going to go ahead and actually end this video here. The joke's on you. There is no EM review or... I'm just kidding, guys. I'm kidding. Now, I, I totally agree with Matt. And, you know, film camera reviews are just super boring for me to make. I don't really watch them unless I'm, you know, interested in buying a particular camera. But the EM, I think, is, is different for me, at least, because I really love this camera. And I think, you know, this is a good camera that I could offer some information or insight on because I, I've had multiple copies and I've, you know, used it and shot it for quite a long time. So because of that, I actually don't mind making a video on the EM. But that's not to say that it can't get long-winded and possibly, most definitely, probably boring. So uh, to maybe alleviate some of that, um, I'll try to split things up and in the description, I'll you know, try to break it up with timestamps or, or whatever. So if there's a particular thing uh, that you're looking for um, about the EM, whether it's just an overview or uh, whether it's just uh, the rundown of the features or, or whatever, um, you can kind of find that specifically. The Nikon EM is a 35 millimeter aperture priority only camera which will meter between ISO 25 and 1600. It's a manual focus only camera, which will accept Nikon's F mount lens. It has a self timer, two stop exposure compensation button, a battery check, a dial to switch to mechanical backup, a hot shoe, battery cover, and rewind button. Probably the number one thing, if I had to prioritize what I like most about it, uh, is that it is just super simple to use, and it's light, and it's just convenient to carry. I really like that it has a split prism finder for focusing, and honestly, when I first started, it was kind of tricky for me to get the hang of but I find now that I can honestly snap to focus quicker uh, with a, a split prism you know, than without one. The EM uses a 60-40 center-weighted metering, which, uh, as the name suggests, it's going to place most of the emphasis in the center of the frame. And now, technically, this is a kind of inferior to the, the newer metering, the matrix or evaluative. Uh, but, I, you know, I don't mind when you combine this with the, the split prism finder, which is going to, you know, put most of your sight in the center of the, the prism. Um, I find it's, you know, really no problem and, you know, kind of fun to compose that way anyway. And as far as the design, it's no frills. I mean, hands down, this is a simple camera with a simple design. But I think, you know, really that adds to the experience. All right. Now, a few of the potential negatives for the EM would be the, the plastic build. You know, we, we did mention it's plastic fantastic, which is great for convenience and, you know, lightweight, fun to carry. 
but it, to be honest, you know, this thing <laughs> broke into quite a couple pieces when it accidentally was pushed off my kitchen table. Maybe a three, I don't know, three and a half foot drop, uh, and it was shattered. So uh, durability, not a plus for the EM. And something I've noticed with all the copies of the EMs that I've shot with is it can really struggle in backlit conditions. Now, right here, this button is actually a, an exposure compensation button where it'll add two stops to the scene. You know, whatever you're you're shooting at, it'll just you know add two stops to try to compensate for that backlit situation. But I think you know, even with that, it, it tends to underexpose just a little bit. Now, not having access to any of the shutter speeds can absolutely be a deal breaker for a lot of people. But again, I, I'm going to go back to the simplicity of this camera. You know, this is a fun and easy to use camera, and I think it's really, it's a great option for somebody who's starting out who might uh, be a little bit, I don't know, put off by manual mode. Uh, you know, who doesn't want to just, maybe just wants to dip a toe in the pool, but not jump in all the way. The EM could be a great option for those people. But speaking of shutter speeds, that's going to lead us into the bonus round. So a really cool trick that the EM can do. Now, I know I, I mentioned earlier that you can't change shutter speeds on this guy, but that's technically not true because this has a, uh, a backup built into it where I can shoot completely mechanical without any batteries. And as you might have noticed on top here, we have B and M90, which, you know, if you switch to B, that's going to be your bulb mode. M90 is going to be 90th of a second, but the not so obvious is if you switch this to auto and you have no batteries or dead batteries, the, sh the shutter is going to fire at 1 1,000th 1, of a second. And I, I read somewhere that I guess uh, this all this was incorporated into the EM because of uh, there was a Nikon philosophy that a camera should work no matter what. So Nikon built the camera with that backup ability. For anybody who's interested in reading more about the EM, I'll put any related links or helpful information. I'll try to dig up the manual online. I'll link that below in the description. Uh, and also, I'm going to link to Dave's channel, The Old Camera Guy. Uh, he's also in my recommended channels. You can just check there. But, uh, you know, shout out to Dave. Man, I, I appreciate the trade. Thank you very much. I, I really enjoyed, you know, shooting with the EM again. So uh, check Dave out. And uh, that's pretty much all I got for today, guys. Uh, I hope you're all well, and until the next time, we'll see you.